Hi everyone, today we're going to be continuing our Towny Refresh series on The Sims 4 and as you can tell by the title, we're going to be doing the Caliente family. The Caliente family has been around since The Sims 2 and originally consisted of sisters Dina and Nina. They've been described as gold diggers who often get involved with the same love interests with a kind of steal your man theme and combined with their last name, which means hot in Spanish, it gives the impression that they're pretty attractive, although I'm not sure that actually reflects in the game that much. Actually, something really interesting that I discovered when I was researching for this video, the word caliente has the word alien in it, which is a reference to their alien ancestor on their paternal side. Nina, Dina and their father Flamenco are said to descend from an alien abduction experiment before the game begins in The Sims 2. Flamenco and Nihat, I, <laughs> I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, I'm so sorry, are the girl's parents. So this is all kind of complicated as in The Sims 4, Katrina appears as the girl's mother in this alternate timeline we have. So it's unknown if The Sims 4 calientes are supposed to be alien descendants or not. And as I'm not not a massive fan of the occult, I didn't go out of my way to necessarily bring that back in this version of The Sims 4. They got a refresh in May 2023, earlier this year, and this may be an unpopular opinion, but I think they actually look worse. They definitely don't strike me as looking Latina. They did make their skin tone darker, which is an improvement as they had lightened them to white in The Sims 4. This was a huge factor in the remake of this family. I wanted them to go back to their Latina roots and actually look like they might be Latina, which this version actually doesn't for me. And I definitely want them to be a attractive. Beauty is subjective and obviously I know that but all I can do is my best version of that but actually I feel like I did a really good job in not only doing them justice but also revamping them a little bit to kind of make them look like the original idea behind this family which is you know kind of meant to be attractive and I'm sorry but when I look at this it doesn't give hot you know. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, it kind of feels like they tried to recreate The Sims 2 graphics in The Sims 4 Cass, if that makes sense. Everything looks super harsh. I'm not a particular fan of any of the pre-made households just because the aesthetics don't really jam for me. Also, can we talk about Don? I haven't spoken about Don yet in the intro of this video, but he is... I looked it up and his name is Italian in origin. Um, and Lothario is kind of, um, it's similar to Casanova, so it's someone who's like very, he's a bit of a player, you know, which fits perfectly with the role that they've given him in The Sims 4. But can we just talk about the fact that he is meant to be a young adult? He's meant to be a young adult. This does not give young adult, I'm sorry, he looks about 45 uh, and that's being on the generous side. I mean, he looks okay actually. Out of all of the household, he's probably my favourite in, in the remake anyway. He doesn't look like a young hot guy that he's kind of playing in The Sims 4 and it kind of breaks the immersion a little bit for me. So I can't wait to show you my version of this family, I think I did a really good job, but I'll let you be the judge of that. So as you can see, massive, massive change on this family. Um, I am so, so pleased with how they turned out. Does anyone else get really confused between Katrina, Dina and Nina? <laughs> so Katrina is the mum, obviously. I brought back Katrina's fiery red hair just because I thought it fit her personality a little bit more. You know, she's hot headed. So I thought that was a great uh, kind of play on words there. So I want to bring that back in this version. This hair is CC and the lashes are CC. If you've seen any of my other videos by now, you know that I always use the same lashes. As usual, everything will be linked down in the description. I really did my best to kind of make her look a little bit more Latina or in this case, I think a lot more Latina than the original and to actually make them attractive. I think she's beautiful. I'm really, really pleased with how she turned out. So as you can see here, I gave her a few more traits with some cheats. So she is romantic, hot-headed, high maintenance, foodie, materialistic, and squeamish. Like a very fiery, dramatic, kind of a matriarch. Someone you'd see in a telenovela, which is like a Latino soap opera. And now I think she's attractive enough to pull a younger man, which is definitely the case. So that was her every day. And like I say in every video, I really try and replicate their personalities through their outfits. She definitely gives like classy mum who also knows how to party and flirt and things like that. I gave her a bunch of likes and dislikes. Um, as usual, this adds so many more elements into the game that I think makes gameplay a little bit more interesting. So I've made her enjoy argumentative conversations, complaints, flirtation, obviously physical intimacy because she's romantic. I always base it on the traits of the sim. I'm gonna go ahead and add acting. Uh, I made her an actress. I thought this would suit her really well. She's like in some sort of situational drama or something like that. To be honest, I couldn't really see her doing any other career. Um, so that was absolutely perfect for her. And as you can see, she is very close to both of her daughters. They're a very tight-knit family, 
uh, even though they do argue a lot and clash. She is still very, very family orientated. I'm gonna have to add that back in because I do believe that I removed that trait initially, the family orientated, and didn't put it back. So I'm gonna add that um, back in the game. So if you download them off the gallery, she will also have that trait too. And just as a side note, I don't think you necessarily need the mods that I have to be able to have more traits on your Sims. I think it's just that for the adding it, it's necessary, but it, I, I think it saves it. Um, you guys will have to let me know um, if you download her off the gallery. So that's for Katrina. Now, I think I'm gonna move on to Nina next because she looks the most like her. I've made them both look really much like their mum. If she looks a little bit taller than her mother, that is fully intentional. I have the height sliders mod installed. I will link that in the description. You don't have to have that installed if you play with my save file, but if you do, the corresponding heights that I have put for The Sims will show up. This hair is absolutely gorgeous. It's CC, again, will be linked in the description. I think if you look at her face, you can kind of see her traits. She's romantic, she's self-assured, she's jealous, and she's also loyal. And it's definitely justified that she's self-assured because she's absolutely stunning. So although she doesn't have her red hair anymore, I definitely tried my best to keep that in her clothes. So her color palette in her outfits is kind of like blacky red, kind of very mature colors that again reflect her vibrant personality, I'd say. Coming over to her likes and dislikes, I didn't really give her any dislikes because I couldn't really figure that out yet, but I did give her a good number of likes just to get started on the right foot. Okay, now coming over to her sister, Dina, she's slightly shorter and obviously she's got blonde hair. Um, she looks a little less like her mum, but definitely you can still see it's the same family. So my Dina is romantic, ambitious and athletic. Um, so Don is obviously a fitness person and I kind of wanted to have them share an interest. It's not necessarily a mutual connection, we'll get into that a little bit further um, once we talk about the gameplay side of things after Cass, but I thought that would be an interesting element to add to the gameplay. So her outfits are super polished, but you can kind of tell still through her outfits that she is a little bit more athletic than her sister. This family knows how to dress, 100% and I can just imagine them getting all ready and dressed up to go out to a party together. As for her likes and dislikes, again, replicated her traits in those. I think they all like dancing just because like I say, I, I can imagine them going out to a party together. And she also obviously likes sporty things like fitness, skiing, wellness as well. And to kind of stay in line with the shadow side, she does dislike deep thoughts, arguments, and also cooking as well because I feel like Katrina would be the cook of the family and the two sisters would probably kind of be a bit more lax on that side of things and just kind of have time to do their own things. And lastly, coming on to Don. I am super proud of Don. Definitely wanted to make him attractive by today's standards. So I feel like he kind of does look like a gym bro that would kind of be a little bit of a player. So one of original Don's interests, I believe, was um, being fit. I, I can't remember if he was in that career or if it was just like a massive hobby for him. So I figured he would probably be at least interested in athletics. So I gave him that trait and I swapped it out with the self-assured trait. He often exposes a lot of skin, which is fine, but you know, when you're living with your girlfriend's family, it's probably not the brightest idea to do that, but I just thought that would match him so well. He seems like the type of guy that has just like so little self-awareness that he would just like walk around topless in his like tiny shorts in front of everyone. And that kind of follows through on the flirtatious theme that there is with the other women in the household. He has the bodybuilder aspiration and his likes and dislikes again filled them in accordingly. He definitely has a dislike for anything a little bit more on the academic side rather than the physical side. Typical jock, I guess. This hair is CC. Now, I love it because it's got that kind of sleek look as if he's just finished working out um, or got out of the shower. And when you work out as much as this guy, I'm sure that you're either one or the other of those things all the time. And when I can't find something that's from the base game or packs, I will use CC. So. A lot of the time that is hair, I'm just looking now and they've all got CC hair. And sometimes I also use CC clothes, so this top for example is CC. But it's always Maxis Match for me personally and I never go over the top with like CC eyes and things like that. I, th I just personally think that that kind of takes away from the original aesthetic of the game. Something I've touched on before in one of my short videos is the fact that you can't have um, boyfriend, girlfriend or partner uh, relationships between sims which is really annoying it's literally only uh, family or fiance um so that's kind of annoying it's either you're engaged married or nothing 
I feel like this is quite a base element that could have been included in that. But in the game anyway, Katrina and Don obviously are partners. So as you can see, Oasis Springs is starting to fill out a little bit now. We obviously have the Calientes over here. We have the land grabs over here. For those of you wondering why it's completely empty, I nuked the entire game. I actually used an empty save file just to completely start from zero. Over here we have Michael Batchelor, which is Bella's brother. If you saw my goth remake video, you'll know that I brought him back from The Sims 3 into The Sims 4, which is really fun. And also I'm thinking of tying that in with the whole storyline with Dina. As you may know, um, in one of the previous Sims games, Dina and Michael actually end up getting engaged or married. I can't remember which one of those that is. And the fact that they are both into fitness is a very interesting element as well. Michael is a professional sports athlete. And over here we have two mystery households. They are new families that I completely invented myself. Let me know if that's something that will interest you or not. And obviously we have the Calientes over here. Now this kind of looks like the same build as the original base game, but it's not. It's a remake that I found on the gallery. So let's have a closer look at that now. So here we are. Everybody is currently chilling in the living room. Uh, I'm just noticing now that Don kind of looks like handsome Squidward. <laughs> the Sims always kind of look slightly different once you load them into the game um, from Cass, like the shadowing and things like that come into play. Um, but that particular facial expression is kind of scary. <laughs> uh, there we go, it's a bit better. So let's talk about their build first. Uh, I have a quick question for anyone who's watching. I think this comes with seasons, but this decoration on the house, uh, I'm not really sure how to get rid of it. So if someone could tell me that would be great. I've tried shift clicking a few times uh, to remove it, but it doesn't come off. It kind of looks like it's Valentine's Day decoration, love day, I mean, but the game is currently in winter. Does it glitch out? I feel like it glitches out. I've seen a lot of builds with like old random seasons decorations on. So as you can see um, it's pretty much the same build as the original but it's more the inside that's completely been changed and the decoration side of things so a big thank you to the original creator of this build which is catty aunt betsy on the gallery as usual i tweaked it a little bit just so it would fit the family a little bit better and their style and my version of the calientes i believe i'd actually finished remodeling the interior of this house when the two new um kits i can't remember if it's called a kit or a stuff pack but it came out at the same time as the chef hustle add-on. I think Satchel on Sims actually referred to this kind of aesthetic as Chav aesthetic, which I honestly, it's not wrong. I thought that was perfect. So I had to go back and remodel the house based on that pack, but definitely that modern kind of vibe, maybe furniture that you'd see in a reality TV set. So yeah, it's kind of like a mix between the traditional Spanish villa on the outside and then inside is very much modern. The living area is very bright and spacious. I don't like too much clutter um, in my builds, so I generally do kind of keep it clutter free unless it's a stylistic choice for a sim that I know is very messy for example. Lots of shoes over here by the entryway just because I thought that three women with impeccable style living under the same roof there's going to be a lot of shoes everywhere. <laughs> we have this little front yard area which is very kind of villa inspired with a little terracotta tiles on all of the awnings and there is a lot of stone in this build which I quite like. Fairly minimal kitchen over here. And we have a very small workout area for those who enjoy fitness in the household. Coming out the back, we still have the swimming pool. I think the terrain is slightly different out here and very minimalistic area to just kind of come out and lounge. I thought this might be something that a Latino family might have in their possession. It's a little candy skull, traditionally used as a symbol of Day of the Dead. So coming upstairs now, everything is quite bright, which is perfect because I love playing with nice bright builds. As you can see, I used many items from that set just because I thought it was absolutely perfect for what I was going for. So this is Katrina and Don's room and they have a little ensuite bathroom over here. Again, very light. Coming over this way, I imagine that as they still live with their mum, these would have been their teenage bedrooms uh, that have been kind of upgraded into adult bedrooms for them. So not the biggest bedrooms for adults, but definitely representative of both their personalities. So obviously over here we have Nina. She has much more red and mature colour palette um, compared to her sister, which we'll come to in a moment. Kind of going on this romantic theme, I guess. A little shared bathroom over here, and then this is Dina's bedroom. I kind of like to think that Dina is someone who peaked in high school a little bit. She was kind of like a bit of a jock. Um, very popular and kind of peaked there. I kind of wanted to make her bedroom look a little bit more childish than her sister's. I believe I made her an ex-cheerleader in this as well, a cheer champ. 
Um, we'll have a look at her traits in a second. And I did this little detail over here of the trophy on the wall and the poster that I believe is linked to some sort of sports thing in um, university life or living or whatever it's called. I do forget the names of the packs because I do have them all and I kind of get everything mixed up sometimes. So that's for the bedrooms. And then coming back to Katrina's bedroom, she actually has a balcony that opens up, which is the famous balcony that Bella um, was seen for the last time on before she was abducted by aliens. So now we're just gonna have a quick look at everybody's skills, traits and careers because I did change up quite a bit. So currently Don is a macro influencer. So in this career, you can um, do reviews of products and things like that. Um, so I make him like review sports equipment, which I thought was a little bit more of an original idea than just sending him off to the fitness rabbit hole career. He's very focused on image, as you can probably tell by looking at him. And as he has mastered the fitness skill, he can actually go to the gym and train people. It's annoying that you can't get paid for that. Maybe there's a mod if you guys know if that exists. That would be perfect for me to add to the game actually. So if any of you know of a mod that lets you do that, lets you get paid for going to train sims at the gym, that would be perfect. So I filled in all of his skills with things that are based on being physical also a little bit of this so obviously there's no like nationalities or ethnicities in the sims um but i thought that the Salvadoradian culture would be something that this latina family would know a little bit about all of the girls can dance the little rumba sim dance um which is like very latino inspired so that's perfect for that and obviously living with three latina women he would have some sort of knowledge about latino history and his two relevant skills down here for the influencer career as you can for compatibility he gets on amazingly with all three women which is perfect um it's kind of hard to predict um when you're doing the likes and dislikes how well two sims are going to get on um it would be great if there was some sort of easier way for us to see that when we're doing the likes and dislikes i know it does give a little description but i find that sometimes i've followed that and i've loaded into the game and i've seen the sims have bad compatibility somehow he has a little bit of a romance meter with dina and i'm going to start the romance meter with nina as well just to make the story a little bit more dramatic dina for now has been rejecting his advances quite a bit so he might try his luck on the sister and as for his extra traits like i've said in previous videos i can shift click on a sim and I get this option come up called cheat sim info so when I click on that I can add a ton of hidden traits and things like that to the sim so I always do that um, when I'm making the game. He's got all of these attractive ones like great kisser, alluring, beguiling, I don't know how to say that. <laughs> high self-esteem and he's also a morning sim contrary to Katrina who I made a night sim. So as I explained earlier um, Katrina is a sitcom star in the acting career. Her skills include dancing, she's perfected the dancing, Salvadoran culture and parenting. She's a pretty good mum um, and she's got all of these like extra skills and things like that, cooking. She's very observant, she can suss people out pretty much immediately. She has uncontrolled emotions, which means she's more prone to outbursts and things like that. She's vicarious, which means she kind of lives through her children a little bit and when they gain skills, it adds to her own skills. Great kisser, she can dance the Ruba Sim. Heat acclimation, like I said, although there is no ethnicity or nationality in The Sims 4, I really like to represent that where I can. It makes the game feel a little bit more real and it's always a bonus if people feel more included as well in the game, which is something that I definitely do take into account when I make my sims file. So coming out over to Dina, like I mentioned earlier, she's the cheer champion, which was a reward trait from high school years. She's memorable, so all of her old school buddies will still remember her now. And she has a harder time forgetting friends and falling out of contact with her friends. Iconic, again, I think that's a high school years trait. Coming over to her skills, obviously she's got the silver Salvadoradian, that is so hard to say. <laughs> Skill, fitness, charisma, and wellness. For now, she's a background actor. She wants to kind of follow in the footsteps of her mother, but maybe isn't as gifted as her. She's kind of lost. She's at a stage in her life where she aspires to be a party animal. So she's not necessarily got any fixed aspirations in life, which is good. I don't think every sim should have some sort of fixed career goal necessarily. And now coming over to Nina. So Nina actually works in an office. She's got a very stable kind of work life, but she's more about what happens outside of work. So, I figured a rabbit hole job for her wasn't necessarily a bad thing. And I need to add the Salvadoradian culture skill to her as well. She's a very sincere sim because as you saw, she has the loyal trait. She's also jealous, always faithful, high self-esteem and confidant. So to sum up, she'd be a good shoulder to cry on unless it had anything to do with a guy that she was interested in and then it would probably go up in flames. But I feel like I was really able to round out the personalities very well with the extra traits and rewards and things 
anything like that that I added on there. So that concludes this video guys, let me know what you think. I really hope you enjoyed and I cannot wait to share my save file with you guys. It's quite far from being finished at the moment, a few people have asked me in the comments, um, obviously there's still a lot of families to add in and all of the community lots and things like that. Some of it I will do off screen and show you after the fact just so the videos go a little bit quicker with that. But I really do hope that you're enjoying this series, I'm really enjoying bringing this to life anyways and sharing it with you guys on my sims channel so if you could leave a like that would be really really helpful and comment whatever you thought about this video who do you want to see next how are the calientes in your save file and i will see you all in the next one bye guys